Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we are looking at the MSI GT60 Zero NC gaming laptop. The specific model I'll be reviewing today is the MSI GT60 Zero NC 068PL. We'll get to the specifications a little bit later. For now, let's move on to the box. Alright, as you can see, it's just a simple cardboard box with the MSI logo printed on it. Right here on this side you can again see the full model name and it seems to be the Polish version. But let's open this box up and see what's inside. There we go, inside of it is another box with a nice handle. Once again we're looking at a MSI laptop. And this is the gaming series with a good slogan. Top player, top choice. We'll see if it really is. The keyboard apparently is made by SteelSeries and the sound by Denario. Here once again the model name and the specifications, to which we will get into detail later. I guess it's time to open this box up as well. Alright, inside here we have an accessory box and the laptop itself, protected of course. But before we get to the laptop, let's take a look at the accessories first. Of course you get a large heavy power adapter that's made by Delta Electronics. Then the power cord that goes into the adapter. In this bag is the battery and on there is the fifth rubber foot for the laptop. That's a 9 cell battery by the way. In this bag right here is some sort of metal clip and a block. I don't know what these things are for. Then there's the driver CD, but I'd recommend downloading the latest drivers from MSI's website and for the graphics drivers go to the NVIDIA website or Intel website, depending if you want to use the integrated Intel HD graphics or not. You probably won't. Here's a notebook quick start guide. My specific model of the laptop comes with Windows 7 Home Premium, but the latest models will come with Windows 8 pre-installed. Then here are more instructions. This one telling you how to access the recovery functions. This here is the warranty note, or in Polish, Karta Gwarancinia. Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. Last but not least, a CE compliance booklet. But now let's move on to the laptop itself. As you can see it comes with some sort of cloth protection to prevent scratches and I'll remove that cloth now. The next step is to remove the plastic protection. There we go. Right here on the back of the screen is a nice MSI logo and this actually is an aluminum case. Brushed aluminum. So this looks very elegant and expensive. This laptop also is quite heavy. That's because of the aluminum case and the cooling technology inside to keep the components as cool as possible and that's not always easy when it comes to laptops. Now let's take a look at the bottom. Right there is the battery slot. I really like it a lot that MSI uses just a single back cover. You just unscrew it and access the needed components. Up here you can even see a little fan that will also help with cooling. This laptop actually comes with a total of 5 rubber feet instead of 4 on most laptops. The fifth foot is on the battery itself and I personally don't think that's the best idea. Most of the time when you're buying a gaming laptop you will not use your battery and so you could take it out to make it last longer. But if you do so the laptop will not be even on the table or whatever surface you put it on since one important foot is missing. This computer is quite thick and a lot of people don't like that but you have to think of it that way. The thicker it is, the better or more can be done for cooling and therefore bringing you a better gaming experience and longer lifespan of the components. But let's take a quick look at the connections. Right here is the power connection. 1 gigabit LAN port, 1 VGA output, 1 eSATA port for external storage devices and 1 HDMI output. On this side are two USB 3.0 ports, a 7 and 1 card reader and a single USB 3.0 super speed port that allows charging phones or other devices faster. These USB 3.0 ports or 3.0 in general are also backwards compatible with USB 2.0 devices. I just wanted to let you know because a lot of people are confused when it comes to these ports. 
here on the front there are absolutely no connections, which I think is good. Now on the right is the DVD drive, a single USB 2.0 port and your golden HD audio jacks. But now let's finally open the laptop. The hinges seem to be very robust and the screen shouldn't wobble. Let's start with the screen. This is a 15.6 inch Full HD 1920 by 1080 anti-glare screen. Up here is the HD webcam and right beside it on the left is the microphone. A glossy plastic bezel is used here but the screen itself is matte, which you prefer to be honest. Down here is a nice MSI logo and the power button right below. To be honest I don't really like the button, it feels very cheap. But anyways, as for the speakers, again, the audio is powered by Dinario, and this laptop comes with decent stereo speakers, to which we will get later. The keyboard is made by SteelSeries, and it doesn't look bad at all. It looks very durable, and there's spacing between the keys. Typing on it feels pretty good, actually. This part here is also made out of aluminum and is brushed, so it looks and feels very elegant. The touchpad also has an aluminum feel to it and is also brushed. I just have to say, I love brushed aluminum, especially when it's black. The touchpad buttons however are made out of plastic and that feels kinda cheap. Right here are the LEDs that show if the laptop is in sleep mode, if the battery is being used, hard drive activity and so on. On the right is a sticker that tells you which components are actually used. But don't worry, we'll get to more detailed specifications soon. And on the very right are some more stickers, even a Windows 7 sticker. My specific model comes with Windows 7 pre-installed, but the latest models come with Windows 8 and therefore a Windows 8 sticker instead of this Windows 7 one. But let's finally power this laptop up. As you can see, Windows 7 is starting up. Now once everything's done installing, you can start using your laptop. However, in my opinion, just like on every other laptop, you got lots of programs you'd never like to use. The speed of the pre-installed operating system is also horrible, as well as the boot up time. I'd really recommend installing a fresh copy of Windows 7 or 8 onto new laptops, because for me it's impossible to use it as it is right now, it's just too slow. When the computer is turned on, the keyboard will light up in different colors. This makes the whole laptop look very expensive and modern. The best thing is, you can also customize the way the keyboard lights up. For instance, it's possible to change the colors or use special lighting effects such as wave or just turn the LEDs off just in case you prefer that. As for the screen, it's not bad at all actually for a laptop monitor. A LED panel is used and the viewing angles aren't bad actually, however this isn't an IPS panel, it's TN, which is best for gaming due to the better response time. The color accuracy isn't the best however, but it's fine. I'm a little disappointed with the webcam. It's a HD webcam but the picture quality really isn't that great. However it looks like MSI focused more on the looks and the hardware that's inside for gaming. That's what this gaming laptop is for. When in a dark room, when looking at the screen from the back, the MSI logo will light up white and that looks pretty cool actually. But let's finally get to the specifications. The MSI GT60 Zero and C-068PL gaming laptop comes with an Intel Core i5, 3210M, 2.5GHz CPU, 8GB of DDR3-1600 memory, the Nvidia GeForce GTX 670M, 3GB GDDR5 graphics and a 750GB SATA 7200 RPM HDD. A 15.6 inch LED anti-glare full HD 1920x1080 screen is used and a HD webcam is also present. As for the Gigabit Ethernet port, the Bigfoot Killer E2200 series LAN is used and 802.11 BGN wireless LAN is also supported of course. This laptop comes with a 180W AC adapter and a 9 cell battery 
as well as a DVD Super Multi optical drive and a 7-in-1 card reader. As for the connections, there's a single gigabit LAN port, one VGA, one HDMI, one eSATA, three USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, and four audio jacks. But let's take a closer look at the CPU in CPU-Z. Again, the i5-3210M CPU is used, and that's a dual-core 22 nanometer Ivy Bridge processor. As for the GPU in GPU-Z, again, the NVIDIA GTX 670M is used, which should actually be pretty powerful. But let's actually see how powerful this laptop actually is. As you can see here, I ran through the 3 Mark test, the iStorm, CloudGate and Firestrike tests, and it didn't perform bad at all. Same thing with 3 Mark 11, the total score being roughly 2800 here. But let's move on to the legendary 3D Mark Vantage. Again, pretty good results actually. Roughly 11,000 on the GPU and 10,000 on the CPU. But now let's run through some games since this is a gaming laptop. The first title being Battlefield 3 at medium settings. Here, Far Cry 3 also on medium settings. But what about the temperatures when running through all these tests and games? Here as you can see, the CPU is now at 100% load and at max I get 58 to 61 degrees Celsius depending on the core. The GPU at 100% load shows similar results, in this case 63 degrees Celsius. So overall MSI's cooler manages to cool the hardware down. Unfortunately the fans can get a little bit loud. But that's always the case when you're gaming on a laptop. But what about the power consumption? On idle, the laptop consumes 19 watts. When the CPU is at 100% load, 56 watts. When the GPU is at 100% 100 load, 130 watts. When both CPU and GPU are at 100% 100 load, 144 watts. And when gaming, this laptop draws roughly 118 watts from the wall. I can't complain here, everything seems to be fine. Now let's do some testing with the built-in microphone. Test 1, I'm sitting right beside the laptop the way most people will do. Test 2, I'm talking directly into the microphone. Nobody actually does that. Test 3, I'm standing like one meter away from the laptop. Some people actually do that, especially when having guests. So yeah, it's not too bad, but I'm not very happy with it, mainly because it pretty much records in mono and not in stereo. And now we'll see how well the built-in speakers do.
there you go. I honestly can't complain here. The speakers are as good as it can get for a laptop. MSI did a great job here. So the MSI GT60 0NC-068PL is a very good gaming laptop for the price. It definitely has some weaker points such as several cheap plastic buttons, cheap microphone and webcam but other than that everything seems to be pretty solid. The aluminum case is very good and for the looks it even is brushed and I liked it a lot. The monitor is ok in terms of color accuracy and viewing angles and it's good to see a full HD 1080p resolution here. The keyboard by SteelSeries is very nice too and I really like the fact that it is illuminated. In terms of cooling MSI did a great job, however the fans can get a little loud when playing games, but that's always the problem when doing demanding things on laptops, so I can't really blame MSI here. MSI decided to go with quality over silence, which is the right decision in my opinion. As for the gaming performance, every single game is playable at 1080p, but don't expect to run these demanding game titles at maxed out settings. I'd recommend playing at low to medium settings for the best gaming experience. So yeah, again this laptop has weaker points, but the price isn't as high as most other gaming laptops with similar hardware. Pros are good price performance ratio, good performance, then I like the low power consumption especially on idle, the great build quality, the brushed aluminum case is fantastic in my opinion, great cooling is present and this laptop also comes with an illuminated keyboard. For the cons I can only say this laptop doesn't have the best microphone and webcam. Other than that it's a great gaming laptop and I give it a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.